This is James Karanja, who left the country for 14 years to stay in Vancouver, Canada. In the year 2018, he came back this time round to punch life and hope into young Kenyans to enable them follow their passion and dreams. Uh, we are happy to be in the forefront you know, of giving these youngsters an opportunity to play this beautiful game. You know, there's a lot of social issues happening in the community. And when you have an organized program like what's happening here, you're keeping the youngsters uh, from doing a lot of things. You know, it could be crime, you know, it could be getting into drugs. The former Java Warriors captain launched a high-profile basketball initiative called Beyond Hoops Africa last year, July, in Umoja Estate. The initiative is helping young boys and girls below the age of 14 to actualize their dreams as basketball players. For these kids, you know, with the right support, with the right, you know, coaching, which they have right now, you know, with Martin and Joe and all the other partners that, are, that we're bringing on board, you know, we're going to see these kids play beyond Africa. Here, the team meets every Saturday and Sunday and is trained by coach Martin Okwako, who has vast skills and experience in basketball. Uh, and I'm able to work with discipline because it cuts across uh, their life. I work with focus on Masomo. Yeah, then uh, committee to uh, uh, very many bad vices, but uh, once work up, I think uh, they find a home. As young as Oliver, they are already dreaming big. They're looking up to big names in the NBA. Adam, James Adam. I like him. The playing court being in a bad condition, James donated an artificial playing ground that the team uses for training. Over and above that, he donated new jerseys, shoes and basketballs to the players. They train here as they play here. This team believes that in the next two, three years, they will be in the right path to be the next Stephen Curry or Leonard Curry. Chris Miguambo from Domoja to basketball court in Nairobi.